Up until a couple of years ago, I'd never heard the term boondocking. But then a couple of years ago, I decided to go to Arizona for the winter because that's what retired people do when they quit work and look for a warm place for the winter. A lot of times people ask me what I do down there. And I told them I park out on the desert and of course they think I'm out there all by myself, just me and the cacti. But in fact, they have organized camping down there. It doesn't cost anything. You just have to register, get a permit, and they let you park out there for two weeks. After your two weeks, you have to move on, but you can move on to a different uh, BLM site. And at least 20 miles away, I believe it is. But once you get there, you'll find that you're not the only guy out there. There's other units. There's been other campers before, like here I am parked by somebody's fire pit they probably put up there years ago and other people have used it. Just desert. You look around, it looks pretty sparse, but when you look a little farther, holy moly, it's a whole community out there. There's people all over the place. Some parked by the road, some parked way in the back. This time at Dome Rock, I came upon a, a, a cavalcade or a convention of campers. I believe they were Casita fiberglass trailers, campers, truck campers, little fifth wheels. And there had to be a thousand of them all parked in the one little area. Of course, boondocking, you're out in the desert, but here at Dome Rock, outside of Quartzsite, just over the hill, that's the town of Quartzsite, only about four miles away. So you have access to everything you need, groceries and fuel and propane. Now some, uh, some sites are better than other ones. This one here was at the entrance to Joshua, Joshua Tree National Park. I never stayed here, but I checked it out. And there's a few guys in here. It wasn't a very big area. Uh, a lot of guys in tents and uh, some big units, some trailers. Nobody seems to mind. Everybody camps together. Uh, this one uh, quite a ways away. And this uh, BFW campground just north of Yuma I really like, right beside the canal. And when I flew over here this time, there wasn't many in here, but about 10 days later, after I'd been here a while, this place just filled right up. And here's a BLM area I checked out uh, just north of Lake Havasu City. It's called Craigie Wash. And I didn't stay here. I chose another site for a couple days. But this one I toured around in. It was kind of neat inside a canyon surrounded by rock but I decided not to stay here because it didn't have any cell service nor TV reception and I, I didn't have any good books to read at the moment so there wasn't a lot I was going to do because I was just going to park and sit for a week or so. I wasn't really going to do much touring around although I'd probably head into town once in a while and get some groceries. But they're really neat sites. Uh, this one didn't seem to have an attendant, a camp attendant, where you registered, so I'm not sure where you would get your permit from, but a lot of people don't worry about that too much. Of course, no matter where you park out there in the desert, you're always going to have a great sunset. So if you decide to go boondocking, give it a try. I did, and I really liked it.